Hi, today we'll talk briefly about Taiyin. Taiyin is the most exterior of the Yin channels. It has a very close relationship with Yangni. Together, they are responsible for the postnatal qi. Taiyin's nature is related to transformation and nourishment, has affinity with dampness, and will help the body to resonate with a humid environment, as well as to transform internal dampness. We have the arm Taiyin, the lung channel, and the leg Taiyin, the spleen channel. The lung channel has 11 points and travels from lung 1 at the lateral aspect of the chest to lung 11 at the thumb. On the lung channel is located lung 7, the Luo point. Together with kidney 6, it will open the Ren Mai. The lung channel can treat several imbalances on, the, on its trajectory, as well as to support immunological functions, respiratory problems, and even digestion. Emotionally, when balanced, the lung is related to the acceptance of natural flow from heaven or seasons. When out of balance, it leads to grief and sadness. The spleen channel has 21 points. It travels from the medial aspect of the big toe through the leg all the way to the seventh intercostal space at the spleen 21. On the spleen channel is located several points used on daily practice, like spleen 6, the famous crossing of the yin, spleen 3, and the spleen 4, the luo point, that can open the chong mai with PC6. The spleen channel can treat digestion, imbalances on its trajectory, as well as qi deficiency signs. It is the channel of choice to treat dampness. Emotionally, when balanced, the spleen is related to nurture and positive relationships. When out of balance, it will lead to worry, overthinking, and selfishness. The relationship mostly used on clinical practice is Tai Yin and Yang Ni, but also Tai Yin and Tai Yang. That's it for Tai Yin. If you like the video, click on thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to be notified on future videos. Thanks for watching. Channel based acupuncture.